Hi guys, it is the present day me. I just came to say happy new year. This vlog was recorded last year and now it is February 2nd, 2022. So have a prosperous year and enjoy the vlog. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers. At least 200 people will be watching this. So if everyone just subscribes right now, I will hit my goal. So yeah, subscribe, like, share and enjoy the vlog. Uh, Where are you going? I'm going to a book launch. You're going to where? A book launch. Oh, nice. I know, I'm going to be vlogging my whole weekend, so yeah. Oh, that's cute. What time are you going home? Maybe, I think you finish at like 6. So I'll be home around like 7. When you get home? Alright, where? So guys, I am going to be vlogging my whole weekend. And today is Saturday the 6th of November and I am going to a book launch so if you guys watched the last vlog which I don't know if it's the last one but it's a previous vlog with the liter literary festival I met some authors there and that's whose book launch I'm going to today I'm actually working with him on a project in terms of like filmmaking as well which I will be vlogging also and will come out one day but yeah I'm going to his book launch and tomorrow I'm going on radio, guys, for the first ever time. I'm going to City FM, and it's really cool. It's a bit mad, because it's like, I'm at that stage in my career where I can actually be invited onto radio, which is really, like, crazy. It's a Monday. I am going to the Gubo Awards. So Gubo Awards is a very prestige award show that I will talk to you guys more about. But right now, no. But yeah, stay tuned for the whole weekend, and yeah. Guys, I'm here. I'm just walking to the place. How can the security guard say to me, my English is too British? He's like, why are you speaking like that? He said, why are you speaking like you're British? I said, because I am British. He said, oh. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. I've got a wedgie. The front ones. Where do I go? This is what I look like. I don't know if you can see me, but yeah. Where do I go? I don't know where to go, I'm just walking. I can hear voices upstairs. What, three times slam? champion, two-time national slam champion, and that's a very big deal. And he's gone on to represent Ghana in other parts of the continent, other parts of the world. His first publication, Logaligi Bogartan. What am I doing wrong? Look, I have tried sitting at different places just to catch the announcement. <laughs> Some nights I scream, hallelujah. And other nights I sit quiet. Did this increase my chances of my head touching the floor? No. 37 years. 37 witnesses, 37 years, 37 bombs, 37 Ghanaians, 37 ups, 37 downs, 37 runabouts, and 37 towns. So 5,000 Ghana stone, we're going back to the, to the plan. 5,000 Ghana cities, anybody, you know, we're all in a good mood. I'm in a big mood as well. 5,000 Ghana cities, or should I come down again? 5,000 Ghana cities, ladies and gentlemen. just finished the launch they were auctioning books i got one for 100 cities and a goodie bag but it was really really good honestly i feel like it really sparked my a love for or a like for performance poetry so i'm gonna like probably have a look into that because it's definitely sparked my interest in that but yeah honestly so good poetry is so beautiful i've been so inspired so much great advice so i'm excited to see what my poetry journey is going to be like get his book 100% Logi, Logo Logi Locomotion. That's what, book, that's what the book is called. But honestly, he is very, very inspirational and his poetry is exceptional, literally. So guys, this is the end of today. Tomorrow I'll see you guys for the radio station. 
Goodbye. Uh, hi guys, so right now I'm scrambling. So the Cuba Wars is tomorrow and I still don't know what I'm wearing. I kind of picked an outfit just now, but it's still kind of iffy. I'm gonna wear like a suit. I like it because it's edgy and it's kind of like me, like I'm myself kind of edgy. But right now I'm going to like a material shop to see what they have. Because you're supposed to wear kente. But the thing about kente for me is that sometimes it doesn't look nice when it's made into something. So I'm going to try the theme of the Cuba Awards is... So guys, the Cuba Awards is an amazing award show organised by Dental Show, which is a Ghanaian diaspora. It was the first one to be done in Ghana. And the theme was celebrating 100 years of Yaa Asantwa. So Yaa Asantwa is a key figure in Ghanaian culture, Ashanti culture. She led the rebellion against the British. So she's a very key figure. So what the Cuba Awards was doing was championing many different women from across the world and it was great it was amazing and it was inspiring so watch and follow them as well um women empowerment i think but also you have to wear kente or, or a touch of kente so i'm thinking if i can get another material and then just add the kente material that they have into it because the kente material they have isn't that great they already have two so there's not really much to pick from but yeah that's what i'm doing right now and yeah wish me luck i really need to find the perfect outfit that i really love and are comfortable wearing so yeah let's hope i find that mm. oh i really like this this one which one but it's lace in it it's lit but i can it's really nice this pink and purple is really really nice Fuchi. Mm. Yeah, I feel like if I can just like buy a material and then incorporate yeah, the kente yeah. into so, it. Material, yeah, fine. And then incorporate the kente into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually like that. There's more than there's more than one. It's one. But there for this is nice. It's one, but it's got pattern. So they designed it with the pattern. Oh, this one's two. Ah, uh, we don't see a pattern. We need four. I wear it two. Oh, oh this is different. Let me wear. Oh, okay. I like this part. Ain't it? Ain't it? They which one? This part or this part? And so they normally design it with that together in mind. With the pattern together. With it together, so they can. Uh, Design it to the umber cutting and among their farm. So, what I say, it's all one material. A one, a bamboo, mm -hmm. they'll design it nice. Say hi. Hi. Uh, we'll it looks pretty. But it's a blue material, the same is which is like combined. Yeah, I wouldn't just do one, I'll just, I'll just add it to the here and the. Well, move oh. this side, is in the umber, move our frame white. Okay. So, what style are you making now? The shape. Fresh car, the one that I said is nice. Okay. But it's lace though, so it doesn't matter. It's still fine. It's fine. What's in the kente? The kente wouldn't be underneath it. Result. Result. So when are we gonna drop it to the people? Anyways, guys, I've got my material. And now I just hope that they, I hope they're good. I kind of feel like Ash, maybe I should have a dress, you know. You can make a dress and, and use that to open a dress. Would it Long be dress. better? Huh? Would it be better? Long I just dress. want something nice and elegant. Black, wear better fine. Long dress with that. Be very nice. So keep searching. No, keep searching. I want to feel like an Ashanti princess. Make a nice long dress. Radio show today. Hi, Roxy. So, guys, I am ready. My edges are laying right now. I'm gonna go to the seamstress to drop off my stuff so they can make my thing for me, my dress for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna go to the radio station. This is what I look like right now. I'm super excited. Like, I really am super excited. Um, I can't wait to be interviewed and I can't wait for the award show. 
I'm super excited for both. Like, my first time ever going on radio, so it's just like, damn. Hey okay, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, used to stop it so annoying. Anyways, guys, I'm so so excited and wish me luck. I'm gonna actually record it on Instagram as an Instagram live, and then I'm gonna upload it on my production company page, so here, and probably on YouTube or something. Probably. It looks nice. Thank you. As always. <laughs> I'm actually here now. I'm an hour early, seven o'clock. I'm meant to here, be here for eight o'clock and then we start at 8.30. I'm so excited. Look at this car. City TV. But yeah, I'm here now. Hello. I really need to wee. Hello. I'm gonna be, I'm supposed to be here for eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, we sure. Writer's project. and we had earlier on in the program started talking about your your work in film and we you you told us why really the, you went into this project which has well it's working to bring us this film our day but now let's let's get to know a little bit about the story you know what what does the what story does our day tell okay without giving too much away it's about a young boy, so it's centered around three Ghanaian kids. And it's kind of, of about his journey with his best friend doing some like mischievous things to get to the beach to get his first kiss with his crush. So that's kind of the gist of the story without giving too much away. But yeah, it's about, it's centered around Ghanaian kids. Mm. So that is uh, our day. Um, I, I want to find a little bit more about the, the story itself. Who wrote it? Uh, when I mean, it goes through a totally different uh, process when it comes to film, isn't it? Um, so who, who, who wrote it? Uh, was it originally written and we are now transcribing it into a format for film, like a screenwriting? Okay, so everything was in-house with my company. So I kind of just ask. So we have writers, directors, videographers, many different people that do different things. Is that my pyjamas? Anyways, today is the day guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I used to tell you guys about yesterday, about my feelings about the interview and all that good stuff. But for now, I'm going to the seamstress to try on my dress. Guys, I'm really, really praying and hoping and praying and hoping that this dress is nice. I just know God isn't going to fail me, so... Because I never miss. Period. With events, I never miss. I always have the perfect outfit. So, I better have the perfect outfit this time. I need to quickly change and then go and come back so I can get ready. Okay guys, we've just finished. Just left the seamstress. My dress is here. I am super, super, super excited. I really like it as well, so that's thumbs up. But now I'm gonna go home and get ready for the award show. 
so excited, so excited. I feel like an Ashanti princess with this dress. Okay guys, so turn the light. I'm back home and I'm about to, <coughs> I'm about to eat a salad. So basically, let me show you guys what I'm actually doing there. Ooh. Okay, you can't see, but basically, this is my salad. This is my chicken. And basically, basically, I'm doing a challenge where, it's like a health challenge. So basically week one, which is week one today, I just started today, Monday. I think it's the 8th or something, or the 7th, November, I'm not sure. But basically week one, you have to have a salad or a smoothie every single day. Week two, you need to do 500 skips a day. So you're no skipping rope. Week two, I mean week three, you have to do, stay active. So every day, either go for a walk, go to the gym, skip, jog anything but you have to stay active like every single day week four you have to do everything that you did in three weeks all in one week so this meeting all salad the skips the staying active every day for the full for the fourth week so today i actually like salad which is what i'm very like lucky about because i actually like salad so i'm so nice i'm having a chicken salad so i'm warming some chicken and putting the salad and i'm gonna add some caesar sauce to it I'm gonna quickly eat it and get ready. Cause I could just literally just get ready now, but I wanna do the challenge properly. And I, I can really go eat the salad there, but I don't know what food they're gonna have there. So I don't even know if they're gonna have food, hopefully, cause I like food, but I'm having problems with my gum. Like this side really, really, I can't eat on this side like at all. So it's giving me problems with eating and sometimes speaking, my saliva. I just bought Bonjela, but even it was 50 cities, crazy, so expensive. It really hurts. I've been gargling hot water and salt, well, warm water and salt. Let's see what it looks like. And here is my chicken Caesar salad. I'm gonna quickly eat and then get ready. Ah, my gums. I am feeling myself honestly the reveal of the dress I don't even know how to show you guys let me try to show you like oh god damn guys like what and it goes with my hair that wasn't even planned but I can't lie I am feeling myself. I'm looking real good for this award show. And yeah, I'm just doing what needs to be done, really. Like, wow. Wow, this dress. This dress is really princess. This is really princess vibes. This is Ashanti princess. Ah! <gasps> Of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
I am extremely, extremely tired, to be honest. I'm going to close out this vlog. I'm going to shower and go to bed. I've got all this makeup everywhere, but I'm not touching that today at all. Tomorrow I'll probably dress. Tomorrow is Tuesday the 9th or 10th, I don't know. But tomorrow I'm just probably just going to just get my life together. I need to clean my room and I need to do plan for the rest of my week. I'll probably just you know, spend time with God, have like a really chilled, productive day, but productive in terms of like self, in terms of like inner self, like spending time with God, cleaning my room. That's about it. That's kind of what I just thought about now. That's what I want to do when I came home, like just to recoup. I've got a lot of work to do though in general. I've got a script to write. I've got, I'm doing a beach cleanup, hopefully in December. If not December, then early January, but I need to plan for that as well and do some promo videos and all that stuff. So tomorrow I'll probably just upload some pictures from today, clean my room, spend time with God and keep it stepping and then I just go along the rest of the day, the rest of the week I mean, but honestly, it was so inspiring. It was such a great event. Like honestly, I'm so happy that I was able to go. I went as a date with my mom. I was her day. She is Denta's friend, so you no, know, she got an invite, and obviously I came with her. All that stuff, but it was great. And also, what was great was my interview. Like, it's crazy how I'm just in that time of my career that I'm getting interviews now. It's just very surreal. I'm very like grateful and very happy, and it was very exciting. I was very comfortable. If you want to watch that interview, you can watch it on instagram i might upload it on youtube but like on my production company youtube but i don't know but yeah i had a great weekend I had a great weekend a very inspiring weekend and yeah now it's time to continue with life but thank you for watching my vlog if you got this far have a great day have a great week have a great night and yeah believe in yourself and you know trust yourself and love yourself